what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel and in this video i'm going to share with you how you can install fun touch os on any of your android device as a gsi i've installed this gsi on my redmi note 8 and you can install this on your any xiaomi device or any other device which is project travel supported and i'm going to share with you which are the things you get in vivo's fun touch os gsi or this is a GSI so maybe a lot of things are just buggy and things like that but some just want to install this build on their devices I'm gonna share with you my experience with Funtouch OS and some other things like about the installation make sure to watch this video till the end to understand everything now let's get okay guys so let's start with the home screen first of all we have this kind of UI here where we have these kind of time zones status bar looks pretty damn cool like from vivo Wi-Fi is perfectly fine here mobile data is fine for me and battery indicator is good not about, not sure about the battery percentage and battery backup you had the vivo weather vivo app store and these kind of apps available which you can use if you want to and these kind of navigation bar which you can customize in settings also we also got the vivo theme center where you can customize a lot of themes and this is the same like xiaomi's miui but vivo's theme are fully in chinese xiaomi still provides you some themes in english too and i just tried one two themes these were fine here and the fonts are also available as you can see you can customize these kind of things if you're interested you can use this gsi on your device you have this kind of file manager option available actually file manager looks cool we have all the main headers available music documents zips apks and some things like that when you go to local files you have the option to select the device storage or sd card and these looks very very interesting you have the gallery option and for over the camera camera will not work for you obviously it's a gsi so camera is a fully for surely every for everyone it's a bug i'm not i'm not sure about other things but still camera was just perfectly fine here and this kind of ui is the call you get here and this looks cool too now let's move on to some other things let's start with the settings right now and after that i'm gonna share with you how you can install this because installation is quite simple by the way because if you already know about gsis it's quite easy and it's just same to install extra G other gsis instead of this airplane mode wi-fi mobile network and personal hotspot just don't compare just don't let's move on to the settings right now we have a lot of features available here it's a vivo's fun touch os which has some great features smart motion smart mirroring smart split one-handed s capture app clone and smart click but as it is a gsi so are you sh are you can imagine that these features will work for you maybe not all but maybe some features will work for you definitely we have the wi-fi mobile network and if over the personal hotspot i don't think so personal hotspot will work at all because it's a gsi so just don't don't expect a lot of things from these kind of things status bar and notification customization options available here where you can enable the network speed notification reminder and data usage these kind of things we have the system navigation where we can enable the navigation gesture also if you want to and you can change the position and if you choose this one sorry wait let me just tell you one more thing okay this one you can customize these kind of things and this looks cool if you choose this one your navigation bar will be changed if you choose this one it will be changed and you can choose anything from here i personally chosen this because this was looking fine other else are not that much good we have the jovi ultra game mode option is available too i'm not sure about the ultra game mode but it's available so it is working or not i didn't played any game till now not sure about that sound and vibration is available is available here display and brightness has the auto lock and full screen display of apps some things like that which you might can customize if you want to lock screen home screen and wallpaper 
you can customize your lock screen you can customize your home screen wallpapers and themes as expected you have the theme store i tried to use the one theme as you can see downloaded theme is circular and the icons were so ugly so i just moved back to the stock theme right away we have the system update option is available here but obviously you should not use this as you can see this is fun touch os built with erfan gsi tools no build number as it's a gsi fingerprint face and password as expected fingerprint and face both are broken nothing is working here if i open this they will ask me to enter my lock screen password if i enter my lock screen password just came back nothing is happening here this is also kind of bug but yes just for time pass just for testing purpose like if you are a fan of fun touch os and just want to install take a look how it works on your device you can try it out a lot of things are there it all depends upon your device if you want to try it out try it out right now now let's move on to the installation i'm going to share with you a little bit of methods of installation maybe you can get the idea of how to install this let's move on to the install okay guys so we are in the custom recovery make sure you have unlocked bootloader and custom recovery installed on your device and if you have do so now let's move on to the process first of all just make sure to wipe all the necessary partitions like dalvik catch system vendor data these five things you just have to wipe swipe to wipe and then what you have to do is you have to install Android Pi based custom room, Android Pi based stock room, Android Pi based custom room. So in my case, I'm going to use my Xiaomi EU's latest, the last 11.0.6 build, this one. You can use any other build because it's a GSI, so you need a, you need a compatible vendor for that. So that's why I'm using my Xiaomi EU rooms vendor. Click on install. It will take some time to install so just wait for the installation to finish and then what you have to do is you just have to install the GSI image you are good so as you can see the installation is about to finish and after the installation of your stock room what you have to do is wait let me just show you okay it's done now just go to menu go to manage partitions this process is for orange fox custom recovery if you're using twrp you might get the format data option anywhere just click here click on format data yes click this one you have just have to format data once okay so after that what you need to do is you just need to install a compatible gsi so let me just show you the gsi right now i have this fun touch os gsi here click on system image swipe to install you already know that gsis only have the system images so we just need to install the gsi image a system image just reboot your device you are good to go nothing else left and if the gsi is booting for you it's great if you need something like permissive you can flash that one also it also depend upon your device and after that you can simply use that but not all gsis are compatible with all the devices so just keep this thing in mind if the gsi is not booting for you maybe it's not compatible with your device now this was all and just you have to reboot your device and nothing else is left and this was pretty easy to install a gsi on your device this is all from today's video i hope you like this thing and if you like this don't forget to like and share the video as much as you can thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe me goodbye